when are you due? In the first two videos for week six, we demystified how to calculate your due date using either your last menstrual period or your ultrasound. In this video, we talk about what to do if these two dates don't agree. Let's start with why is your due date even important? Suffice it to say, it matters a lot, like a whole lot. In fact, it's perhaps the single most important piece of medical information about your whole pregnancy. Why, you ask? Well, your due date allows your healthcare providers to know how far along you are in your pregnancy. It allows us to schedule when you are due for your appointments, treatments, ultrasounds. It allows us to monitor the baby's growth to make sure he or she is growing at a healthy pace. It makes a difference in how we interpret certain tests you take in pregnancy. And it allows us to know if your baby is preterm, term, or post-term when you go into labor. If you go into labor at 30 weeks pregnant, that is a very different scenario than 40 weeks pregnant. Good dating of pregnancies also allows for better research and vital statistics so we can improve healthcare overall. You are likely already on board with the it's really important argument. If for no other reason, then you want to know when a baby is about to pop into your life. So you're probably asking yourself, why is she making a video about this if I already know it's important and I already got the date by popping it into that handy online calculator? Well, it's not always so straightforward. There are actually two ways to calculate your due date and they don't always agree. So, if you used an online calculator or your last menstrual period and got a due date, and then you went and saw your OBGYN and got an ultrasound and got another due date, what do you do, especially if these two due dates don't agree? Fortunately, all the powers that be for obstetrics and ultrasounds got together and agreed on a rule for picking the best due date when they disagree. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine, and the American Institute on Ultrasound in Medicine formed a committee and released a statement with a very helpful chart, which I will show you here. To choose the best due date, take the two dates and count how many days apart they are. Here you can see the first row is just about the first trimester. The fr first trimester here is less than or equal to 13 weeks and 6 days, which is what the 13 and 6 sevenths week notation means. How many days apart were the two dates? When you are less than 9 weeks pregnant, if the dates are less than or equal to 5 days apart, use your last menstrual period date. If the two dates are more than five days apart, then use the ultrasound date. At nine weeks to 14 weeks, use the ultrasound date if the two dates are more than seven days apart. If they're closer than seven days, use your LMP. If you are unsure of your last menstrual period date, then the ultrasound is probably the way to go, especially if you got an early first trimester ultrasound. In a study looking at women getting a first trimester ultrasound, a full 40% of them were redated to that ultrasound date and not the last menstrual period date because the two dates were more than five days apart. As the pregnancy is farther along, you can see that the two dates have to be farther apart to change the due date since the ultrasound is less and less accurate. The abbreviations in the middle column are different types of ultrasound measurements. CRL is the crown rump length that we discussed in the ultrasound video, and the BPD, HC, AC, and FL are designations for measurements of other body parts. For instance, HC is head circumference. Now that you know all about calculating your due date perfectly, you might be curious about whether or not you will actually deliver on your due date. Check out the fourth video for week six to find out how likely you are to deliver on your due date. I hope you've enjoyed week six of 40 Weeks with Dr. Martin and that you feel very certain and confident about what your due date is now. If not, you can always call your OBGYN's office and ask what she thinks. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below, subscribe to the channel, you can find me online at thepregnancydoc.com 
and on Twitter at Dr. Eva Martin. I hope you have a fantastic sixth week of your pregnancy. You can find complete notes on my website, thepregnancydoc.com. Please note, nothing contained in this video is medical advice. Thank <music> you.